It's finally happening. The Nintendo Wii U and 3DS eShops are closing down. Nintendo in all regions, North America, Europe, Japan, they have all confirmed that by March 2023, you will no longer be able to make purchases on the eShop for those systems. There's a lot of questions going on about what this exactly means, and in today's video, I'm going to answer it all. I'm going to go over all the dates you need to be aware of, what this means for updates and redownloading of software, what this exactly means for online gameplay, as well as what you need to do now to prepare for the future, as well as touching on some future videos to expect on this channel in reference to these eShops. Also, Pokemon users, I got some news and a PSA that you definitely need to be aware of too, so you definitely want to pay attention to this video. There's a lot to cover today. This is a very important subject for you Nintendo fans, so hang on, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and let's go over all this Nintendo Wii U and 3DS eShop closer news. <laughs> So late in the evening yesterday, Nintendo and our regions announced on their Twitter accounts that they plan to close the Wii U and 3DS eShops in our regions in late March 2023. We essentially have a year to work with. Now first things first, there are some dates to be aware of, so make sure to write these down, but I will send out reminders as we draw closer to these dates. First things first, on May 23rd, 2022 of this year, you will no longer be able to use a credit card to add funds to an account on the Nintendo eShop on the Wii U or the 3DS family of systems. That means if you intend on purchasing games with a credit card on either console, you need to do so prior to that date. Next, on August 29th, 2022 of this year, you will no longer be able to use a Nintendo eShop card to add funds to your account on Nintendo eShop on the Wii U or the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. However, you will still be able to redeem download codes until late March 2023. Now this next bit is very important to those who have a Switch. Those users who link the Nintendo Network ID wallet used with the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS family of systems with the Nintendo account wallet which is used with the Nintendo Switch family of systems, you will be able to use that shared balance to purchase content on any of these platforms until late March 2023. After that, the balance can only be used to purchase content on the Nintendo Switch family of systems. So if you miss these dates, there's still a workaround to March 2023 as long as you link those accounts. Public service announcement here, if you haven't, you probably should already do that just to cover your tail. Also, no changes are planned for the Nintendo eShop on the Nintendo Switch right now, so you don't have to worry about that. These changes to the Nintendo eShop on the Wii U and 3DS will also affect software on these platforms where it's possible to make purchases, such as Street Pass Me Plaza, the Theme Shop, and the Nintendo Badge Arcade. This also includes stuff like Wii Sports Club Passes, as well as not being able to download demos or free to start software. So just to reiterate, May 23rd of this year is the cutoff for credit card use on the Wii U and 3DS eShops. August 29th of this year is the cutoff for eShop cards on the system, at least for adding funds. If you have already linked your account wallets, you'll be able to load funds on the Switch to make purchases on the Wii U and 3DS until late March 2023. Now the big question is about redownloading software. Nintendo has confirmed that even after late March 2023, and for the foreseeable future, you will still be able to redownload games, as well as DLC, in addition to receiving software updates, as well as being able to enjoy online play on the Wii U and the 3DS. So the ability to redownload software and get updates is not going away at this time, as well as online play. Though I imagine one day that will happen, but just not anytime soon. Pokemon users, the next bit of info is very important to you. Since the eShops are closing, that means for these Pokemon games, they will be affected. But I do have some good news. Pokemon Bank, which is a service that allows you to bring older Pokemon to other games, especially for Pokemon Home use, will be free to use after the eShop closes next year. It won't require a subscription, and it'll be able to be used until they shut down online services whenever that happens. But what this does mean is you plan on using it for any reason, you need to download the software now 
as you won't be able to download it after March closure next year. So again, Pokemon players on the 3DS systems, make sure to download Pokemon Bank so you have the means to transfer Pokemon in the future. Also, make sure to pick up PokeTransporter 2, especially if you plan on using Pokemon from the DS games in Pokemon Bank. So the big question after this is why? Why is Nintendo doing this? Well, I have a few educated guesses. It has deemed these services probably to be too costly to continue for legacy hardware. With the Wii U, everyone knows it was not a successful console. And to be honest, I'm shocked they kept the eShop open for as long as they have for that system. As for the 3DS, I'm surprised we're seeing the closure of its eShop so soon, as it was a very popular system, and still is popular. I would imagine they would keep it going for at least a few more years, but I presume because of the way the eShop is structured, and it's linked to the Wii U, it's just because the Wii U eShop is going, the 3DS eShop is going to go as well. And honestly, the way the online is set up, for their eShops, as well as a multiplayer for the platforms, they're very dated, and it's probably proven to be troublesome for Nintendo to keep it going. Another thing to consider is also taking into account security concerns, and that's hard to do on hardware that is 10 years old or older. Regardless though, it's a shame, because there's so many games that are not available on the Switch, as well as other platforms that are locked to the 3DS and the Wii U, and they're about to be gone forever. Nintendo just does not have a good track record of preserving software, and this is just another note in a long list. It's gotta change, and hopefully that changes with the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully Nintendo, like other console makers, are making plans for more future-proofing. Time will tell on that matter. With that all said, what does this mean for you? Well, first and foremost, it means that if you have software or games that you wish to purchase on the eShops, you need to start making a list and planning those purchases. I will be creating videos on games for both consoles on this channel. I'm already working on one, so expect a bunch of videos for both consoles in the future. Also, for those who like physical games, you might want to check out those games now and consider buying some because I presume they're going to go up in price after these eShops close. But anyway, for now, I will make a quick mention to definitely check out the virtual console for both systems. As well as RPG fans, you definitely want to check the 3DS side out, as things are about to get way more pricey for you. Anyway, both consoles' eShops are massive, especially for the 3DS, so there's going to be a lot of games to cover. Beyond that, you should consider upgrading the storage for both the 3DS and Wii U just in case for future-proofing. I'll make a video as well on that subject if need be, but note, it's pretty simple to do. Both consoles come with pretty low storage, so increasing it is a must if you plan on having a huge collection of games. Finally, for some, I know this might be a touchy subject, but I'm going to say it anyway. For those who maybe have put it off or have considered doing so, it might be worth taking the time to mod your 3DS or Wii U consoles for future-proofing and game preservation. Now that is a decision you must make, whether to do so or not to do it. That's up to you, and I won't be covering how to do so on the channel, mainly because there's so many other resources out there that do it so much better than I could. But note, if you plan on doing so, there's always some risks involved, so be aware of that if you plan to go that route. But yeah, this is a sad day. I knew this was coming. We all knew this was coming. I knew the end was drawing near. Last year, I predicted it on this channel. And here we are. It is the beginning of the end for the eShops and lots and lots of games. Again, I'm going to be putting out some videos on the 3DS and Wii U systems, as well as what games to pick up for both platforms. So expect that shortly. Don't worry, I'm going to have you covered. But that's all for today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so it lets me know that you appreciate the video, as well as consider subscribing, especially if you want to keep up on all the Nintendo Switch, Wii U, and 3DS stuff. There's new videos each and every week. Patreon members, thank you for your continued support. Check out the Patreon if you wish to additionally support this channel. It's especially going to help out with these Wii U and 3DS videos. But that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.